everyone understands that there's these spheres. Now, they are separated, if you look at it physically, they are separated by interstellar boundaries thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of light years across. But they are transcended by love. So every boundary is a new condition of love. Love is the separating force of these boundaries. So, a person in the first sphere cannot get to the second sphere until the love that they can develop by one of two ways can help them transcend that boundary. Make sense? It's love that separates each of these boundaries and are higher levels of love. What actually happens physically when you're there is as your body, your body is totally under the control of your soul, so this part of your soul, the half of the soul, as your soul's emotions grow in love, your, it reflects in your body. Your body's condition becomes lighter and more bright and your soul's condition allows you to transcend the boundary because now you have a higher amount of love than what the boundary can maintain. And that's how you move from one sphere to the next sphere. I call them spheres because most of the spirits call them spheres. They are dimensional places of existence. Right. right. Ah, I... I should say, very important point, how do you develop your love? There's two methods. So what I'm going to do diagrammatically is separate them. Be aware there is no separation of these spheres based on these two methods. They are all available to you at any time, but these two methods are the way in which you develop your love. One is called a development in natural love. Now, natural love is the love that comes from your soul. In other words, it's the love that you have that comes from within yourself without anyone else's influence. And I'm saying to you that you can develop it. You can make it grow stronger. Now, the other type of love is divine love. Now divine love does not come from your soul. Divine love comes from God's soul and can enter you, but it only enters you under certain conditions. It doesn't automatically enter you. There's a common viewpoint on the earth today that we've all got a spark of the divine at the time we incarnate and even before. And what I'm saying is that while God created you and you are an expression of God's emotions, God's divine love only enters your soul when you long for it from your soul. You have to know about it first, don't you? Before well, that's you the want. problem, is that a lot of people don't know about it. And this is what I tried to teach in the first century, but it all got lost in the mud of all of these doctrines and all of the falsehoods created all of the loss of this information. Does this only happen in the spheres or does it happen in, on Earth? It applies yeah. everywhere, including in your current existence. So, what I'm saying is that you can transcend these boundaries of love right now in your physical existence. Yeah. Make sense to you? Yep. So is that your purpose, to teach people how to do that? Yes. That's, that's my life purpose, if you like. I don't want to like, tell you what to do or anything, but I'm just suggesting try this path because in the end it's going to cause untold happiness for you.